Okay, the best way to explain this is to me is to go to Desmos and actually show you a specific example. Uh, but just real quickly, uh, if you think of the letter, these are usually the letters that are associated with the numbers negative two, one half, negative pi over two and one, A, B, C, and D. A, the absolute value of A controls the amplitude. How far above and below the midline does the graph go? Uh, the cosine and the sine functions have a period of two pi, but if you introduce a number B in front, it will cause the period to either stretch out or to shrink. And we'll see that in a second. C is the phase shift uh, when it's written this way, Bx plus C. If you factor out the B, then C over B is the phase shift, <clears throat> left or right. It's like a horizontal shift. And D controls the midline, that is, it causes a vertical shift. Uh, now, let me share my screen. We'll go to Desmos. And here I've graphed the cosine function, the basic function. I've cut it off from a per uh, period of 0 to 4 pi, or a domain from 0 to 4 pi. Here you can see I start at 0. By the time I get to 2 pi, the graph has gone through one cycle. And now if I go all the way out to 4 pi, which is out in here somewhere, let's see if I enable this. There's 4 pi. So there's two periods of the cosine function. Now, let me uh, say that g is the cosine of x also from 0 4 pi and I'll graph that in purple same graph and now if I put a 2 in front of it what happens it causes the how far above and below the midline the graph goes now the midline for the standard sine and cosine function is the x-axis. So we've gone up here to 2 for the y value and down to negative 2. So let me get this out of here. <clears throat> so the amplitude is 2. If I make that number a negative, it causes a reflection across the x-axis. Watch this 0, negative 2, or this 0, 2, It'll flip down here when I put a minus sign. There it goes. So everything is reflected over the x-axis. <clears throat> now notice how uh, this purple function has one cycle from 0 to 2 pi. But if I put a 1 half, if I put a 2 in front of that x, it cuts it down. It starts repeating from 0 to pi, so it cuts it in half. If I change this 2 to a 1 half, now it takes all the way to 4 pi before the graph or another cycle appears on the graph. We call that a horizontal stretch. Now, if I put parentheses around this x, and then put a minus pi over 2, it has actually moved the graph to the right by pi over 2 units. So when this number is negative, the shift is to the right. When it's positive, it moves it to the left. Uh, so you can see it happening. I'm going to graph the original and then also disable the standard cosine function. Here's h of x which has this C, a shave, phase shift of pi over 2. And there you can see at this point, moved from 2 pi to 5 pi over 2. I added pi over 2. Um, same thing here. I started at pi, ended at 3 pi over 2. Phase shift pi over 2 to the right. If I change this to minus pi over 2, everything shifts to the left. And finally, this D controls, I'll change this back to pi over 2. D controls the midline. 
So if I say that D is 1, that whole red graph is shifted up one unit, including the midline. Okay, so that's a quick overview of what those numbers do to the graph of what we call the parent function. Amplitude, period, phase shift, and vertical shift. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.